An Internet Community Guide Chapter 1 Internet Community Info Create an Internet Community Slash Social Network Website Regardless of whether you are operating a non-profit website or a for-profit one, the means are the same. You have to offer the people something interesting to make them keep coming back. Be inviting, open, personable and friendly on your website. The goal is to bring people in and get them involved. Make your website feel homey, like a family place people can go to see their friends. Think of Cheers, the bar, everybody knows your name. Get everybody to log in with their handle. The goal of any website is to offer people something interesting and unique enough to first capture their attention and secondly keep them coming back for free information, free downloads, software, games, etc., anything that gets them there so they look around and get to know what you do and sell. Any commercial or non-profit venture, if it has any intelligence, tries to make its website a virtual community. A place where like-minded people go to connect with others and pick up some tidbits of knowledge about their area of interest whatever it might be. Your store or catalog should be one part, one icon click of your website among several like a news group, chat room, a service center, an expert's corner where you can ask questions, a feedback icon, some entertainment like trivia games or jokes, some educational archives, even a page for personal ads. If you treat people well by filling up your website with free, interesting things, they will buy from you when you need the type of products you sell. It's human nature. You treat me well, I reciprocate, especially if you have the offer of expertise going along with the sale of your product. In my opinion, running a virtual community through an internet service provider is an expensive way to promote your business. Rather than renting space from a website hosting company, Buy a server, hook it up in a room at your house or company and let that be your connection to the world. People are emotional and as such, they're sociable. They want community and need it. Business is not just nuts, bolts and widgets. It's emotion. Create it through a virtual community in your subject area. If you're a boat supplier, create a community for boat hobbyists. Supply the educational information in the form of a number of articles but the critical thing is to supply the social atmosphere where people can talk amongst each other in cyberspace, a kind of counterculture of your type of people be they computer nerds, golf nerds, lonely hearts, sociable drinkers, home Dietger collectors, romance novel readers, etc. Make it a place people want to go to. Create a grassroots portal for your subject area. Some subjects are geared for almost everybody. If you sell music CDs or books, your potential audience is almost everybody so market to everybody, the generic mainstream. Put a free dating service on your website and you will get traffic. Try number 001 number point 004 or number 303.48 and TK5105 at the library for books about the internet. Internet Community Guide Think of building a web community like the community you live in. There are different things going on. Some activities have participation by virtually everybody like buying things, have a buy and sell ads section, the rules and structure of the community, have a layout for that, while most attract only the people interested the topic at hand. It's basically about creating and maintaining a network of relationships. It's all about providing a space for all the little special interest groups in your community to do their thing and invite new people in who want to check it out and might be interested in joining. Your job is to build a group-friendly community that unites all these disparate groups and individuals under one roof. Create a short motto that identifies the groups. Purpose like people helping people live better lives. Create a longer mission statement that explains what the group is all about. Write up a short history of the group, how it came to exist, etc. And then talk about who you are now, what you do and what services you offer. Create a welcome package that's sent to new members to enable them to get around the community. Create an organizational structure, a list of leadership roles within the group, along with their powers and responsibilities. Provide training and instruction for volunteers who want to be group leaders. Create a place to announce the group's membership requirements, its code of conduct and a group calendar for upcoming events. 
coordinate events, run them. Answer questions about the community. Create a leader seniority program where you offer good volunteers who help out some kind of discount on your products, free gift certificates every few months, etc. Have seminars with guest speakers, keep it on topic. Conduct classes and training sessions. Have one-to-one -one tutoring with volunteers. Evaluate students through written exams or interactive sessions. Coordinate events. Promote them by putting them on the calendar and sending out emails. Post transcripts of seminars, newsgroup archives, etc. Answer technical or social questions on a forum reserved for that. Update the community frequently. Have an FAQ room, frequently asked questions. Hold group meetings. Reward good leaders with commendation. Define roles and responsibilities of leader positions. Have an application form, manual, and code of conduct for volunteer leaders. Offer a place for members to post their photographs. Offer photographs of whatever it is you're into. If it's bicycles, offer a place for members to send in pictures of them and their bicycles. The idea is to create a tribe slash community of like-minded people who enjoy the atmosphere of being there. Advertise well so people from all over the world come on over. If there's a cause in your subject area, do some activist work through your website. There are basic rules about how any successful group or organization operates. As a field of study, this area is sometimes called organizational behavior, organizational management, or industrial psychology. Applied psychology books are at number 158 at the library. You might find a few industrial psychology books in the business section at number 650.1 or HF5548. How Groups Operate The major rules of groups are as follows. What are you all about? Successful groups have a clear vision and serve a clear purpose. Have good leaders, allow input from members and provide a gathering place to congregate and communicate. People come onto your website to socialize. How do they do it? You have to have quick acting chat rooms, newsrooms, and private chat rooms. Provide an email address directory of members with a little bio profile with or without picture of every member who wants to be listed. You have to tell your community who its members are with bio profiles. You might also offer mailing lists, message boards, chat rooms, etc. A member profile contains the following basic information with an optional photo if you want. Name, handle, location, email address, birth date, sex, marital status, hobbies, occupation, favorite quote, religion, would like to meet. Strong leadership is often the catalyst that makes the group strong, lively, and relevant. Acknowledge those leaders and give them the means to do their thing. The main mission is to socialize to ultimately sell your stuff. Go easy on rules. Welcome people with open arms. Groups have their own etiquette where the members are comfortable at, membership requirements, code of conduct, etc. Community events are the glue that unifies the group and makes it stronger. Have regular meetings both online and in the real world. Invite guest speakers, etc. Offer your groups an events calendar, a public forum where they can hold their events and the means to promote, run, and transcribe their events. Groups like traditional rituals of community life like marriages, having kids, new jobs, promotions at work, etc. Have a bulletin board where members can post the personal events of their lives. Good groups break down into subgroups when some people want to go off in their own direction within the group. Groups have their own lives and life cycles. Let whatever happens happen naturally. You have to develop a structure of people to run your community network. You will need to decide whether to fill the positions with volunteers, independent contractors for a fee or paid staff. Volunteers are often compensated with occasional gifts. If you're running a small, not-for-profit community like a place for people interested in improving their lives, you will naturally turn to volunteers but if you are selling products while offering this self-help community, 
you have to decide whether you want a completely professional staff or hire a few professionals who oversee a volunteer pool. If you expect to have such a mix, get a few good paid leaders to run the show. This saves the uncertainty of dealing with volunteers. If a volunteer is a slacker, the paid community administrator just has to get rid of him and bring in another one. Running a chatroom slash chatroom software Some responsibilities of running a chatroom slash bulletin board slash newsgroup slash community are Greet newcomers Show them the site Answer questions Get them involved Oversee the core activities be the leader slash moderator slash host in organized activities as opposed to a free-flowing chat. Choose content, evaluate content offered to you by the community. Be a sensor of sorts. Bring in the good, get rid of the old, tired, bad stuff. Remove people and slash or content that's in bad taste. Teach members to lead at times when they're in the community. Chat software. 123livehelp.com, 123 Live Help Chat Server Software. Boldchat.com. Clickandchat.com, Live Website Chat Solution. .netlivehelp.com. Live2support.com slash products.php. Provides up port.com. Solutions.liveperson.com. Zazachat.com chat software zenithlive.com internet community websites try number 307 or hm131 at the library nptn.org info at nptn.org main freenet site 321website.com bbomb.com software beliefnet.com religion bakinfo.com Bulletinboards.com CaucusSystems.com CivicNet.org Center for Civic Networking Communities.com Community.net CommunityZero.com Start an online community Delphi.com Discusware.com Software eBay.com Slash help slash community values dot html eCircles.com Freenet.org. Gemzies.com, start an online community. Gritwire.com. Hotbb.net, form a community. Ibelong.com. Intranetworks.com. Knowledgecenter.com. Koz.com. LibertyNet.org slash exclamation point ed civic slash iscvhome.html comma how to build a virtual community. Lotsahelpinghands.com, create a free-of-charge, private, web-based community to organize family, friends, neighbors, and colleagues. Macromedia.com slash flash. MyEvents.com. Naima.com. Naima.com slash community. Network54.com. OnlineCommunityReport.com. PeopleLink.com, private chat rooms. PeoplePanel.com POWER-BANDS.com RemarQ.com RheinGold.com slash VC slash book comma the virtual community, homesteading on the electronic frontier SocialComputingMagazine.com SocialCore.com Socialicionominetwork.org Socialnets.org, online social networking Socialplatform.com Socialsoftware.weblogsinc.com SpartazoCELnetworks.com The-networking.info Thinkofit.com slash webconf Tehewell.com, political, activist Uo.com Vastal.com Vbulletin.com vcn.bc.ca slash people slash nkg slash ma hyphen thesis virtual memorials dot com have games and tournaments wajones.org webmaster.com well.com slash conf slash guidelines wellengaged.com 
Exum.com, Communities